Yes, welcome to the morning. New week, same old staying on the jumper. Sink oh, this. What is it this week? Caught us a coffee. Fuck it, it's cut a tea of the day. Wasn't it? No, it's not, because no, it's, 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 t- it's, it's the same stain the last time you wore that and jumper. And it runs down as well, so there's two dots, I mean, and then right there's a run down as no, well. A snail too, or it was a small That's a fart. That's, you farted on <laughs> your jumper. It was <laughs> shattered. It was a small one. I'm, I'm the worst in the world. I was sitting drinking a cup of tea in the car. And but why are you driving? Ah, it was going to be very safe, is it? No, not really. Burn the cuff or not? Oh, it's, it's a follow through. No, that's when you go to wipe your ass and your, <laughs> your sleeve hits your ass. You know what? I'm not fucking bothered. I didn't even notice I had a stain. Good on you, big man. Yeah, you didn't care, mate. Did you? I spit all over you, mate. Didn't care. Any actually. stains on the boxers? Oh, honours. What is it in the day, big man? Calvin's? Yeah, I think it might be next. Like I say. Oh. I was up this morning at half three, started work at half three, so it was dark. Were you working at half three? Oh, oh, is it? Pants and all. Oh. Next man. Oh. Wow. Wife fronts. <laughs> might be a rip in the back of them. Next, sales have just plummeted. <laughs> next, have just went to administration after. Sell your oh, stocks, trip as soon as the podcast comes out. I tell you what, <laughs> next stock, <laughs> I've had them pants for 10 years at least. Have you 10 oh, years? It's a longevity. Think of some of the things you've done in their pants. Oh. <laughs> done you well then. By the way, what were you saying? Think about of some of the explosions you've had in their pants. <laughs> what were you saying about your sister just before the camera started? Oh, she's been great in life. <laughs> seen her yesterday at the game, sat next to her. Yeah. Any, t- any touching, any flirting? That was mere flirting. Oh, Mate, wow. Do you know, all, every, she was singing in the train about 200 people have to sign her name in the train, she's bouncing up and down or that. No, oh, she's she, she, no. she, well, she bounced on. No, <laughs> she's famous, mate. You just a beautiful wee. So I never even knew that it was her. Realised it was her. I went out and went. I thought it was Stuart McCall. I said, "You go back into that." Because I'm not allowed to. Fucking double, by the way. No, but she's a crack. She's doing brilliant. You've gone out and enjoyed yourself. She enjoyed us, mate. A lot of people asked for a picture yesterday. Because she obviously remember she's in the documentary. I can't watch Celtic because she was hurt after me. So she's now going back to watch Celtic. So it's brilliant for everybody. And she's on OnlyFans now as well. OnlyFans is back on that now. So he's back, got a confidence of flying now, so good on you. Stuart Nicole's a gay show. That can't start, that can't continue that. Did <laughs> you fancy it again? Did you fancy the literal job? Seriously? Would she go back in? I don't think she would the way she should be the way they me. Because you've got to get Kane for this. <laughs> you alright looking aren't she? Yeah, she has shut that blouse on again though. That's a good thing she had a secret one. See, yeah, see on like real reflection, Stuart McCall you're that. <laughs> Hey, yeah, that's a great show. <laughs> Can't be your man, your dad, fuck's sake. No, but I'm just thinking that Susan and Stuart got together on. No. That's a cracker, that kit. Yes. I didn't, I just came straight for coaching. I, didn't want to t- I think that's unprofessional. Why didn't you rep the boca, bro? No, but I don't like when you come for another work, like a taxi, where the same thing. I know, but you're an entrepreneur, I understand that. Aye, so I think you have to take it professional and come in an outfit, so mm. not bad, innit? I really it's really don't. professional that you've got a camper and you're here at, at two o'clock. That's professional. I know. No. Jeff Bott did, but, got a few people did. That finishes at three as well. <laughs> it doesn't finish at all. Tell you what, some good players in the, in the old Boca Academy by you. Is there? Oh, you went on, didn't well, you? Well, you probably see it. Amazing. And, um, any I names? Mean, any names for us that were good? Oh, I met Shane. How good's that, you boy? Uh, yeah, Scott is good. What's the other boy's name of the. Hayden? Hayden? Boy never with, seen the him. boy with a select top. Never <laughs> seen him. No, I'm talking about. They played in the same team. Him Archie. Archie. Cracking me, boy. Uh, Archie, huh? But I met James the other day. James Forrest. Ah, James Forrest. No mention there. So, back speaking to you. Ah, he's talking to us again. Uh, so you, you, you had him doing starting yesterday, five subs made, starting his arse the full game. Ah, he's starting a wee bit, so... <laughs> 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 if you notice, he's been hanging out with Alan Forrest a lot more now as well. He's, but he said to him, like, call yourself James, just kidding. <laughs> 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 James. But James just said to me, Alan said that he's fucking top man in the dressing room. Did he? Brilliant, innit? See, you look out for all the boys, innit? Ah, of course, mate. It's good to hear that, innit? Is he a personality with Alan? Ah, he's your mate. I tell you what, he was our best player on Saturday as well. I can't he's in the dressing room, innit? He's a loud boy in there. He is, he's, he's, he's fitted in brilliant. And we've got a wee, uh, we've got a wee darts room. You'd love that big man. Who's, he's uh, who's, right the, who's, the, who's the darts players at Hearts? Craig Calcutt's probably the best. Is he? He looks like a darts player, yeah, right? he, he does, does aye. Uh-huh. He does like one as well, to be fair. He's, 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 well, hopefully he's listening to that. He's probably, he's probably the best. I'd say him. Good. Would you take him on a game? That'd be a good feature. Oh, you'd, you'd batter him. He's a joke, mate. Uh-huh. You're unreal, aren't you? I've not played darts for a while. He's, uh, he's multi talented, he's in the, the semi final of the foot golf. Quarter final of foot golf. Is that the night, big that's man? That's the night. And then I've got the quarter final of the club champs in the golf tomorrow night. Aye, right, big week. Co-coms. Co-coms, Co-coms Tuesday with Moza. Fuck that's a hell. big task. Then, How's Moza doing? Moza's brilliant, by the way. Is he? And then uh, the yum yum eating challenge on the Wednesday <laughs> night, isn't it? I know, we were talking about that. for that. We were talking about <laughs> that yesterday. We went for the boys wanted a dessert after their, 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 their tea, and uh, Lynn says, No, he's no fucking needing it. He's no needing it. Look at the size he's getting. So it's talking about me, obviously. Uh-huh. And uh, he says, Tell the boys about the time you went down to pick up Max. We used to go and pick up my youngest, my, my oldest son, Fisherman. 
So one time it didn't fucking suddenly to get me. There was a Krispy Kreme's takeaway donut bit. So I bought a box of twelve, didn't I? Never dusted done the, the box of twelve. Dusted the whole twelve by the time I got to Newcastle back in Glasgow. What was it you done with the box of twelve with a hole in the middle? Of it? <laughs> <laughs> right. Struggled Still with it. Struggled with the one with the jam in the middle. That was tough. <laughs> 12 donuts? 12 donuts in one sitting. Oh, I'm going to say something, you're a disgusting bastard. Yeah, yeah that's hot. That's, that's, that's about 5,000 calories. That was maybe about 10 years ago. I could get away with it then. Mm-hmm. And you're pump. And you're pump. Uh, right, Grovener Sport, who wants to do that? Grovener Sport's what we got. What's the deal? Have we got a deal, Paul? Sign up offer Save from Grovener Sport as always. Bet £5, get £25 and free bets on any sport. Sign up at gsport.com forward slash open goal. Steve Leclerc's making a shit in that F1. Aye, for starting on yesterday again, didn't he? He just loves battling with Verstappen, doesn't he? <laughs> he just wants life. to hit Verstappen all the time, doesn't <laughs> he? He's bang into him all the time. What is that? Bang into him. Um, what we're going to take, oh, big news as well. So Andy Howard is getting married, as we mentioned on the Coupon Show. The best man's been announced. Keevans is going to do it. Has he been he's announced? organising the stag now. Aye. Uh, is it confirmed? Where, where are we going? Are you, well, you're not on the group chat, but he keeps putting... You've bought, you said you never bought the ring, but he keeps putting the ring up and he keeps doing that, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> the first yeah, picture of the ring was a shocker to put up, wasn't it? The first picture of the ring was fucking pierced somewhere, wasn't it? He's pierced your wedding ring somewhere. See, do, you, do, you, do you know which, you know you know which guy's going to kill you? Do you know which guy's going to kill you, right? See, see, when I do the raid on a Monday, it's not you anymore. Is it not? No. Who it's called Roger Hanna. Oh, God. He Never is. heard him. Who's that? We can't <laughs> even use jokes on him, can we? No. no he's, big enough. He's not doing the Monday nights anymore. So he's past he, me, he's dumped me. He's just concentrating the stag day, though, isn't he? I'd be fine. He's organised that beef ticket, sort of. That will, that, that will be the stag, do Will he be gone? Seriously? I don't know, but you'll know be, so you just can't. <laughs> 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 ah, He'll be on the stag. What, what types will be on the stag? Will McGregor go? Aye, he'll go. Scotty Allen? Aye. Any other big names for us? Uh, yeah. Matty Flynn? No big enough. Bonus, yes, mate. Bonus, you flying, uh-huh. Your league? Oh. Cal? But it could be a bit of Cal. Cal. Brilliant. He'll be dropping fortunes and I'd be for that boy, wouldn't he? Gave away a penalty the weekend, I didn't know. he? Did he? It's never a pen, though, no, did you see it? No, it's never a pen. No, he's yeah, it's bad. It's never a pen. But what is it Keevans keeps doing? Naked hodding something saying you're ready for the beef. <laughs> <laughs> keeps doing up, didn't he? Did you reply to him, though, didn't you? Never expected it to be that big, did you? <laughs> no. I surprised as well, didn't I? replaced the... It's <laughs> Richie's <laughs> kitten. Peter Reid. Peter Reid, I pure few Keevans, maybe he had to defend himself. I know, man. Guy's right. about 85. Big news, lads. Al- Graham Alexander sacked. Before the first game of the season, is it is it fair enough after the no, I think it's slide goal? What's the word? Debacle. 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 Great word. Great word. Go on, you start us off. I think it's an. You're a, an ex, from an ex-Motherwell legend. Give your give your take on it. I um I think it's an embarrassment. Honestly, I do. I think that's one of the worst things I've seen fit with that decision. Just seeing you looking at my fringe is it in bad. So we were, we were yesterday and he's like, I feel fucking bog and I'm going to get a haircut. <laughs> Just sitting in a pub, I feel bog. Goes away for about 30 minutes. Was it a Turkish boy? Turkish boy, man. But he couldn't speak English. But it was on Duke Street as well, so guys walking past just spotted him and came and sat in there while he was getting his haircut talking to him. I talked to his videos and like, what the fuck's going on with your heat? <laughs> what, what did you get? It was the exact same. No, I just shaved the size, but I said, the boy can speak English. And I said, mate, don't touch that in fucking minute. Right, and about the tattoos trying to get it. So, no, it was a shambles. But what were we saying, Alexander there? Aye. That's an embarrassment, that decision. Why? If you're going to, if you've got an, an idea in your head that you want him out, then date in the summer. Mm. What, what they've given what two games was it? Oh, yeah. And then he's now going to date, have his brought his players in. He's still up playing all these players in two games before the start of the season. They get rid of him. That's crazy to me. I am with you. I, t- I think the timing's ridiculous. They've obviously have got that in mind where he's obviously struggled the last few months of last season, but we'll give him the start of next season. But giving you the start of next season's no two, no games. two games and then mm. twenty four hours before the first game. They've given him a six week pre season where. Probably the most important time for a coaching staff and a new team. You'll know that yourself, yeah. where that's where you fit mm-hmm. in. Aye. What you want to change, any stuff you're trying to adapt in your style, and new players coming in, gelling them, and then 24 hours for the first game. Listen, the Sligo Rovers result is indefensible, isn't it? But, I mean, you can't give a guy six weeks of pre season, bring in a four new players or whatever it was, then sack him. But see, the feeling about the, the place is really bad, and you could feel that as a club and a chairman, and, and you know that the fans are kind sack of breaking the summer, point. Then, I know, but. Do you give him another six weeks where you think this isn't this isn't going to work, or do you just get rid of him? But well, I, I think the point uh, is that they must have known that the fans were like this. But they couldn't have sacked him if he got them into Europe. He's got to get the chance to take the game. The, the, the uproar that the Motherwell fans have had this week it's obviously a, a bit worse because of that, that result. The slide, the slide the goes up is, is terrible for now. It is. Do you think anyway, it's bad? Right, but it's not as bad as what people are making it. That's what I'm no, going to say. Is, I don't. I don't. I, I think last year, on the basis of how the teams out with Celtic Rangers and Hearts performed. In our league last year, 
Are they much better than some of the better teams in the League of Ireland? Well, I'll be the honest results with you. suggest no, mate. Eh? Exactly. So, so for me, it sounds and looking at it on paper that Sligo Rovers have beat the mighty Motherwell from Scotland. I don't think it's that big a deal because I think Sligo Rovers are probably a decent enough side. Last if six. you look at um, uh, who was it? Was it No Linfield beat Bodo Bodo Lint, the first leg? First I know they lost eight 0 the second leg. Shamrock, man no, no, no. Shamrock mm-hmm. uh, played Ludigrets. Well, were two. I tell you what, I think Ludigrets actually scored something. That maybe could be wrong. I think they scored ninety minute to win an aggregate. Right, two one. I'm pretty sure. So, realistically, is Motherwell much better than is a Motherwell St Johnson? Teams that are much better than maybe the top so why are we no better than these they, Irish they teams? Should, well, I think we... I, 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 why are we no? I th- well, well, I would say that um, part of a lot of things is probably finance. I don't think... we no, Scottish teams will pay, be paying more than Irish teams. I know, I bet. Aye, well, really, they would, but... I, I wouldn't say, say, I wouldn't say a, a massive difference. I wouldn't say it was... I don't know. I, I mean, in terms of... I, I don't actually know. I but the thing is, like, outside Rangers and Celtic, there's not really been any Scottish team that have made a dent in Europe for uh, years. Mm. Obviously, Aber- St. Johnson had a, a good qualifying run, but ultimately, obviously, fell with the second last hurdle, whatever it was. So it was a half decent run. But Kelly get beat after the corners quiz. Corners quiz for Welsh part timers. Uh, the last time I can remember was at Aberdeen. The, yep. the beat is by a minute in that, which I qualified, which was unbelievable, obviously. Mm. But it's the problem that when we finish our season, have a break. A lot of these teams that, that likes are uh, that finish fourth, fifth, and sixth, or whatever, and runners up in cups, they get into the lower conference or whatever it is. Is it some of these teams are already halfway through a season? So likes of mm. um, Boda Glimpt, who were already going um, last year when they beat Celtic. You've got the Irish leagues already in full swing. I think the like Norwegian league or something's already, or some other leagues are in full swing. Are we getting these teams? And catching them with cold, but at the same time, you've had pre season games yeah. to adapt, you've had yeah. um, League Cup games to try and get ready. But to know, to, to think to yourself, right, well, give him a chance, and his chance was two games. Uh, my that, my just, opinion is, like, Motherwell should beat Sligo Rovers, right? They should. Yeah. But I don't think it's a bad enough result where if you're saying, right, he was under pressure last year, but we're going to give him the season, but after that result, no, we need to get rid of him now. Mm. Because if, if, you're, if you had that mindset, then, like he said, you should get rid of him before pre season. Mm-hmm. Don't let him have a full six weeks of preparation for that first game and bring in four new players. What if a new manager comes in and he doesn't like their players? Or it's a completely different style? Yep. He's not got six weeks to change it. He's got that. And by that time, they could... I think Obviously, the, they got off to a great start yesterday when it was uh, Stevie Hamill, but he's obviously run about it. He knows and the players. And to be fair, St. Mun battered him, I thought. St. Mun battered him. Because what I've seen that highlights from Kelly, Kelly, Kelly was unbelievable. Yes. What, that made? what A couple of great saves, mate. Yeah, the save that the, the, the cross came over and the boy headed it back the way it should it came from. Liam Kelly's pulled a good, great save. But on on the um, Motherwell, what was I about to say? I fucking forgot what I was about to say. I was still saying. It's a couple of times already. You, should, you ought to take five minutes. Look, big man, just sit there for tired, a Let somebody else get I'm up for five minutes. But, so, yeah, what, he's, he brought, he's a great character, Lee yes. Kelly, isn't he? Remember the time he pulled, no Aye. pulled you up, but gave you a message saying, I'm not having that. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm in the summer as well. There with Lee Wallace, good guy. He's got a good mentality, that boy, and that serves you like great for the them. season. So. Yeah, he's top man. Are you, are you I'm proud of him, man. He is. Great guy, mate. Very good goalkeeper. Really yeah. Unbelievable with the body speed. Do you think, I'm not need, need discredit him at um, but do you think he could go? Aye, because he's their best player. Aye. Aye well, he's, he's one, one, move, he's one player of the year the last two years. Oh, right. Here's one thing. When Gordon goes, that's where he'll... That's a good shout. That's a great shout. Even now? Ten no, instead of Gordon. because he's not. Mm. So big man came off that goal, ain't it, for Saturday? Saturday. Ah uh, no, no, I think he was playing snooker on his phone, on his phone. So what do you think about the mother to back him? I said last year, he took him for the bottom of the league, mate. I mean, what is it you actually want? But when you do see his record, but then what should Mother will be doing with that, that group Two of squads in the budget that he's got? I know it's not good enough. No and I don't think the style of football is great mm. for what I watch. But again, who's going to come in there and make Mother a top three team playing great right. football? He will, the, am I right in sitting there linked with Stephen Robinson again? Stephen Robinson again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Under, okay, under Craig, Brown, Craig Brown's then. linked as well, Terry mm-hmm. Venables. Who else? Who's other one? Well, you, you're, 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 you're a coach now. <laughs> you're a coach now. I mean, I'm going to be the first coach ever. I'm going to be the first coach ever. You see who's linked? Well, finish that because he says that. I'm going to be the first coach ever in history to be put in loan as a coach. (laughs) (laughs) He said that in the back of the Saturday. I'm going to be the first coach ever to be put on loan. I've seen seen, seen who was linked to it. Stephen Cregan. I've heard, and I'm not, and I would never ever throw anybody under a bus, the type of person, but I heard that Stephen Cregan and James McFadden is a double act. Get in. My God. 
that would be superb, wouldn't it? What a double act that so, was. So, what, see if that gave you the call and asked you to go on as the third coach. He's straight in. Would you? He's straight in. Would you leave us? He's packed. I'd phone him straight in. I'm not even for a gear phone. Would you just delete the number? I'd just have to delete the number and just go straight in. I what a two to be working with, innit, though? Mm-hmm. The fact is, they get asses half the seats there, too. Wouldn't it, mm-hmm. That's that what is great. Be listen, I, listen, Fraddy and me became really close now, obviously, after the, he helped me with my comeback, knowing that he was brilliant with his um, own and off the pitch. And what did he do off the pitch? Just keep in the house and that. Did he? Yeah, he was brought sitting down talking to us all the time. Um, well, you used to play with your ma, Stuart, so that's <laughs> probably... Did he play together? Before you said Stuart, I thought he was playing with my ma. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so, don't know if I can say it, Mickey cut out, but McFadden was supposedly, there was in negotiations, later on negotiations, that he was maybe joining the team at Open Goal. Can I say that? No, you were meant to get him in, you've not, so you've obviously not that fucking close. No, but what I'm saying is, the talks were very, very advanced, and I mean, couldn't get any advanced. I don't advanced. Worry, I'm going to call you up. I, I've never seen advanced talks. Uh, I don't even I've have seen you send him a message and no getting fucking <laughs> a reply. I'll, just, all I'll see is the public. Seven to ten days is going to be sorted. <laughs> that, that, so, the so Scott Brown interview was. <laughs> Last week we had seven to ten days, so you've got two days. Two days we'll be doing it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but certainly, in fact, we'll be there tomorrow and I'll be proud of it. Well, join interview? Join it. <laughs> Arsies again, I'm going to do that. But no, see, we, we Faddy, in fact, he's well, in advance talks were done and he's went really quiet, really quiet, which tells me there could be talk from other trying to get him in. Well, Listen, you know both of the guys, how would that dynamic work with Craig shocking. and <laughs> With Craig and McFadden? Doug, honestly, Doug Shane. One had the best technique in the world, one had the fucking worst. Who'd be the manager? Craig and. Yeah. Craig and I think he's tipped himself to be it, but I think Faddy would need to do every drill. Faddy Craig <laughs> couldn't do the drills, fuck me. I heard Craig's a good coach. I've heard he's a great coach, actually. He got the, did he win the youth cup my mother? I, 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 listen, all the boys, um, another person, Tumble, I'm really close with him. He's a Who? great Tumble. And he, You're he, close to him? Really close. And he's right, seen, so how close are we talking? Talk, so so if you're close with somebody, like, how often do you talk to him, see him? A couple of times a week. <laughs> Catch up with him. So he said that um, Craig was a great coach. So, yeah. and he, he's got that other side to him as you've seen at the Hydro, he put my pants firmly down, remember? When no, he came good, So I think he, I think that could be a good one, that they two. Would I you really, support that then? Is it an ex mother real legend? I don't know. I don't know, but I think it could be good. Any yeah. other shouts for the job? Duncan Ferguson? <clears throat> I, have I think we've just probably got another employee for all sense, because that's... <laughs> <laughs> Can I remember Alexander's back working the night shift in all sins, isn't it? Yeah, we all sins. It'd be unbelievable, wouldn't it? He loved all sins, Graham oh, Alexander, mate, didn't he? Couldn't have, couldn't have, I've never seen him in anything else other than all nah, sins. No, nah, literally not. Stevie, Stevie Hamill must be a, a front runner as well. Because he's he does well, well for, the, for the kids. I really like Stephen Hamill. I do, and, and obviously Great off guy. to a good start yesterday, so if they take their time to try and appoint somebody else, and he gets another couple of games in and between that situation and, and does well, he might just say, we'll give you the opportunity, but, and obviously Kers, did Kers not play uh, Brian, Kerr, well? huh? Brian did by Brian played yeah, he was, well, I think so. he helped Tommy, didn't he? We'll probably like this guy with every job that comes up with Tom Kevin Thompson, has got to be a shout to somebody. I think, I think you, I would go that, I would go that route. Yeah. Well, if you're, that's the type of football the fans I want to see then. He's, I know he was only at Kelty, uh, but he's got a record of playing that. Kelty is off to a great starter. Well, I think that's the part of the reason Tom will. I don't think they've, I don't think they've added much to the squad, which he uh, thought they would. Um, would you need it? And you can see if he did it, then that's what happens. Uh-huh. Yep. Queens was the one for me, but beat four, four nil, four one for Clyde. Clyde, aye. Aye. Right. I'm going to tell you now. I think Queens Park will win the league. Yeah, yeah. Coyle. Coyle. I think Cove will be right up there. I'll, do, I'll, I'll be Cove it. draw. Cove Queens Park draw. win the league. Cove again, mate. No, I did a lot. I think they'll be right up there though, because their squad was is good, isn't it? Who's the lost, manager? The lost Milne who's went to Thistle and Rory's McAllister's ha- left again. Because he booked the holiday in September, you see it? Did he? Big Rory booked the holidays in September. What, so they chucked him? Aye, uh, put him on a transfer list, Montrose have bought him. Wow. Uh, by the way, Montrose could be up there. There's, there's, a, there's a wee dark horse for you in League One. Uh, Peter Hedge, your team, I think. I, I worry for him, sorry. He needs players in a high, definitely. I, worry I think you're turning the bench at the weekend. Uh, right, we're on to the big boy stuff. Livingston v Rangers. Who, anybody watch again? We were travelling through, weren't we? I watched the first half and it was very Livy Light performance. Managed to get the goal. Gay's a lying accent. Nah. They're lying. <laughs> I mean, Come on, Gay's nah. a lying. The Levy, the Levy goal side, big, big Soapy would be... Uh, right, I'm on. getting what you're saying about Suter. Why does Barisic not try and hear the first ball? Aye. Yeah. That's, that's a, that, well, What's asked. he doing? Well, Barisic, obviously, he's been guilty of things like that in the past. Making mistakes, but for me, Nubly. He's just over covering that back post all the time now, Barisic, Aye. isn't it? Oh, he's not leaving that back post. Nubly, <laughs> you don't want to get tight to Nubly. Mate, no. he was. Because he's I, strong. That's where, you, that's where you just stand back and you allow it to, to get the ball in and face away from your goal. Because the minute he gets you turned, he's going to use his strength. And it was a great finish. 
And then Rangers, I think, looking at the stats at one point, point on the television, I think they had something like 38 crosses. And mm. first half. 38 right. crosses. And I'm like, that, that's decent. And then eventually their equaliser comes from across. Great run by Scotty Arfield. But at the same time. Always gets a chance, Scott always, Arfield. But at the it? same time, I'd always. be disappointed in your mate, Nicky. Oh. Because coming for you, Kent, Kent, Kent's I, went I can't one wait way. to see how you're going to respond. Kent's to went one way. Is he going to stick and up he's for his back And Cut he's allowed away. to cross in. I think you, when you're sending your winger down one way, keep him going that way. Is he going to stick up for him, or is he going to? I'm just, just, I just thought. I is just, he just going to let it down? I'm not. I'm not. Him, I'm not. Well, you've said it. Because we'll fucking put him on the phone and say it to him. Right, okay. <laughs> stop the, stop the cross. It's so hard. So he'll just get the head off. Stop the cross when you tell him. He's not happy. For him. No way somebody's throwing him under the bus like that. No fucking I'm not way. throwing him under the bus. No, I'm just, just saying. saying. Big Kev's blaming you for the first Do what you need to say to him. <laughs> <laughs> Show that in the camera just in thinking they're lying to me. Then we'll phone Martindale and not after it and see what he says to him. Because he'll put your boss. <laughs> he's no answer. He'll be training. He knows he'll be training. That's why he's there. He's got 3G. That's how bad your phone is. You know you get fucking 4G. So all these people you claim you're, you're close with. Phone David Turnbull. See if he answers. He's got a new number. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you I'm not chucking them under, under the bus, know, know, yeah. Paul. When you chuck anybody under the bus, my point is, is that if Davy Martindale is going to dissect that game and say, right, how could we have stopped that goal? You would say stop, try and stop the cross a bit better. Mm, nah. But ultimately, on somebody's defence, I'll always get from another angle. When you're defending 38 crosses, at some point somebody's going to get one cross in that's going to get there. You make defenders defend. Sometimes they make mistakes. Mm. And that might sound stupid, right? right? But do you think? Livingston with that number crosses were almost happy with him just putting the ball in the ball. Nah, they probably were yeah. yeah. because they would, but, but, the, but the difference was Scott Arfield had only come on a few minutes earlier when that cross happened, and he's obviously he always makes a late run at the box. So was that Rangers? Was that Rangers problem before that? Maybe no enough aye. midfield runners it was probably, into the box probably when too the crosses obvious, were coming in. he's a midfield runner. And to be fair to Scotty Arfield, it's a great finisher, isn't it? Great header. I think it's a great header. I think Livy's the worst team in the league to go 1-0, didn't he? Aye, away yeah. from home. Especially because the way they play, anymore. obviously, they've got the big new play up front, so see when they're camped in and they bang yeah, it long, he can win you so mm -hmm. much, he can win you fouls and get you up the pitch. He was actually unbelievable in the first half, he's wasn't he? a good player. Mm -hmm. But Rangers, good player. Rangers were really poor. Were they? First half, aye, first they were. And really what, what was lacking, Andy? Everything. It's like you said, it was a combination that Livy... Just allowing Rangers to play in front of them and get it wide and put crosses into the box, which predictable. The three centre halves are going to deal with all day, but Rangers were so slow. The tempo was just, they weren't moving Livy out of possession. It was just everything in front of them, side to side. Nobody was taking any shots. I know that sounds stupid, but they're getting 25 yards up for goal and they're just taking a chance by, you never know what happens. One could deflect in, get corners and put a bit more pressure on, but there was just no sustained pressure, not really any chances. But I would give. Van Bronckhorst credit for that because they had to change something at half time mm -hmm. and I think the boy Tillman came on definitely made a difference because he played sharper the ball got moved quicker and he, he actually won two fouls right at the edge of the box obviously Barisic had a free kick and, and uh, obviously Tav's goal come for a free kick but I think the biggest difference in the second half was just moving the ball up yeah. quicker because see teams can stay in a shape for as long as they want but it's easy if the game's slow and so it's just ahead. getting knocked side to side. You're, you're not really taking it. Pitches dry, anyone, Andy. So, so did he impact the offense? He does. Aye. He looks, <laughs> he, he, he looks, he looks, really he looks like a good player. To be fair, does he? Aye. Half turn type of player. Listen, it's only forty five minutes. I've seen him, but quick feet, quick feet. Aye. Very similar to like a does a national anthem before every game, doesn't he? Aye. American do that like every game. Go for a shite like that. <laughs> national anthem on the house. <laughs> The lovely goalie's got to save a free kick. Aye, well, you, put a wall, you put a stick wall a goal up in to protect there, your, your goalkeeper's right hand side, then the goalie fucking stands behind. The Aye, wall. I should say What did you make of the debutant? <laughs> he's saying it because he's trying to put me under a bit of pressure. What debutant? Kolak. Kolak and Lawrence. But Kolak's from me. Lawrence was alright. What does he remind you? You fucking hate me. You can go for one, but it turns. <laughs> 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 See, that's yeah. a joke. Sound them back for 1.8. Could but be by the cut. I'm Aye. not sure on him. I'm, I'm not sure. And I've heard a few things again about him. I don't know if he's a good Who's this? Is this for another close pal? Aye. Who's that close pal? He plays a Rangers guy from under the bus. Mm. But he's, to be fair, I, I, I don't think the big boy Cholax looked great in the pre season friendlies in the first game, but. Still early. Still early. And obviously, the, I think the reason he said that was because my big mate didn't play too great at the weekend. Big soapy. But I know he'll be a good sign at Rangers. No mm. doubt. What was he? What was on Saturday was it just was it physical? Was just, but to be honest though, like we all know how good Conor Goulson that Conor Goulson wasn't great either. I mm. just think nobody gave the full back four at all. Uh, Soapy obviously get caught wrong side for a goal, 
But one thing I'll say with Sophie, which I've said to people, is I know that he's mentally tough enough to deal with games like mm-hmm. that. In the next game, he'll be fine. Did Jake Livingston was attacked almost for, to put Nubli on him there? Or was it, was it just going about the two of them? Mate, he was having a field day with the fallback four. <clears> honestly, <throat> right. he was. Was he? Huh? He was really, really good in the first half. But that's the thing with Livy, mate. Like, you see where the, f- the free kick came for five yards inside their half, but they'll just bring the goalie up, put the back four under pressure, knock it long. But I'm with you. Why is your back, f- why is your back four dropping deep? When the boys landed 10 yards mm-hmm. outside the 18 yard box, <coughs> Barisic has got to go and aye, aye. contest the first header, right? in zone two. And then obviously Sophie's got to do better, there's no doubt about it. But And even then, I think, if I'd gone even further, I, I think they got on just staying your line, no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're no man's that. land, aren't you? So I think it was a combination of everything, but Sophie being I know a he's debutant, a, he's going to take a bit more pressure. I know he's a king of accents, but he's a Turkish accent. Turkish? No, well, I don't, because I know why you're saying it and it's a bad shout. I don't know, by the way. No, no, it's like he smells the cheese at me, guy. Do you know what I mean? Do you think I owe him? A wee tiny bit, mate. Really? I'm I've seen you steaming. So see, when you're steaming, your face drops. No, it's Turkish. <laughs> 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 yeah, that that must have hit you hard because he's an ugly boy, oh, isn't he? Oh, <laughs> mate. Honestly, see, when I seen that, I was fucking raging. I was like, what? I'm not that's that's lost about. Remember, I got the Nottingham Forest. Is there some player who the Nottingham? I know uh, Steve Cooper. Aye, uh, you've had a few bad. I've had a few bad ones. Have you yes. put four slips in there, mate, and your face dropped, right. Steve somebody, Cooper? Man. Somebody actually said to me, "You look like a hedgehog's pillow." <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you so planned that as your lady. Your mic fell. Oh, it's a bad minute, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a real bad the mic falls down or not. You got anything back from him there? <laughs> not at all. Sorry, right, mate. Kevin, here's a bit oh, for you, mate. Oh, Rangers what? take on uh, Red Star Saint. <laughs> <laughs> take on Union SG in the first of their UCL qualifiers. See them qualifying? I think so, aye. I think Rangers have uh, they've strengthened their... Europe's their 40, isn't it? U- Europe's their thing. Um, and obviously the Simon, the, the carrot at the end of this... Uh, Simon Carrot. It's not going anywhere. It's, it's the, the carrot is in there. There's no carrot in there. <laughs> we ha- we know. He's the colour of a carrot, but he's not a fucking carrot. It's um, not going anywhere. The end of the carrot. Champions League side. Si. That's the end goal here. Yeah, so yeah. for me, it's all out tomorrow night. I think tomorrow night we'll go over there and try and get a result because um take something back to Ibrox and Ibrox should take care of itself. Don't know anything about Union Saint Gillo where is it? Paul Gillois. Gillo- 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 Belgium, Belgium, but um, never heard of them. I know a bit about them. Yeah, right, Andy. go on, Andy. Good, Andy. Our European cor- over our European they were in the Belgian Championship two years ago, second division. Came up, won the regular season. So they, they won the Championship, came up. Well, they never won the Premier League because Belgium's like, they were top of the league and then it goes into a split. Right. And their split is like a Championship playoff and it, they finished second in the Belgian League. Wow. That's, be shocking. That's, really got, that's, split. that's Anderlecht, Club Bruges, Genk, season, Genk. So that is good teams. So the fact that they've come up for the Championship and, and done that well in the first year means they must be alright. What do you think Mar- Roberto Martinez done when they, they won the league? Definitely. That's 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 do you see any shocks? Couple of one, hon. Do you see yeah. a shock here? Couple of one, hon. Paul. What? Do you see a shock here? No, I don't. No? Not at all. I think... Uh, Van Bronck is a real good manager, especially in Europe, his tactics where they can you go. You got snooze in it, huh? Did it look like that? Uh-huh. Oh, fuck. But I think they've. But, I, do, how did you feel you need it? Just the way you feel, started this podcast? After the hedgehog <laughs> fucking. How fast is Marello so Did anybody know? I think, I think he was he's, back he's in training. He's staying in the West End, so it's about five miles. Uh, he was back in training this week, actually. I seen a clip of Van Bronck or Megan in the box. Yeah. Did he? I saw that as well. Yeah, I seen a wee clip of Van Bronck passing the ball with Jerry McAllister. Van Bronck techniques. Aye. Ridiculous, mate. Uh-huh. Oh, actually, you could imagine, couldn't yeah. you? Who's the best manager he's ever worked under that still trained a wee bit and was a joke? Tony Mowbray. Used to do step overs, mate. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> 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 it's yeah, got to be mate. Technique was frightening. Didn't <laughs> 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 he technique when he played? I did not Was he honking, Mogger? Never joined in, I'm joking. Ah, 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 McCoy's joined in with shooting. Joke. The rhino. Joke. We see, ah, the rhino was unbelievable at shooting. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Fuck. <laughs> Can't even call it. Peter Reid was really dirty. Oh, no, that was not Mick a day. That was not a day when I'm joining football. Mick, <laughs> Mick McCarthy, he joined in, but he, he just two footed his own players. Did he? Tell you who was really good. Gordon Stratton, mate. Oh, ridiculous, mate. In the box, it's going to be volleys, not at bats. Tommy Bunch also joined in the new To be fair, Tommy Bunch was ridiculous. But he just played for Megs all the time, mate. Yeah, aye. Uh-huh, he just played for Megs all the time. Aye. Stratton was ridiculous in the box. Very boxes, good, mate. aye. Spin up the outside his foot. Oh, he was good. Gary McAllister was good, but and fucking no hips. His hips were gone. Do you think Gary McAllister was one of the best corner takers of all time? Remember that 
Corner actually, used to hit. He actually what, was the, the low kicks. riser. Low riser, uh-huh. ah, He was taking free kicks and training one. <laughs> <laughs> he was taking free kicks and training one day, and I went, Did you used to take free kicks? <laughs> yeah, but I had, you know, have Sky growing up. So <laughs> <laughs> I Do you know that he's goal against Everton? Aye, aye, it was fucking miles it. Ridiculous. Do you know I trained in once, mate? What, you only joined him once? One training session and it was embarrassing. What is it? Oh, That's a different mate. level for that. What was he like? He scored the best goal I've ever seen in a training session. Did he? He chipped, I think, was it Wes maybe? Chipped Wes with his outside his left foot, ways. outside his bad foot. I think oh, I've seen that clip. Unbelievable, have you seen it? Be, it was a clip that went about. See, when I went up to watch uh, Celtic training, Rodgers was the manager. He was talking about when he used to get Gerard to point like false full back, play to Gerard, and he says, see at Anfield, you could sit and you could actually see the, the noise he makes when he strikes a ball. Definitely. He says it's like nothing I've ever heard before. No. Wow. It's amazing that. I ain't hearing that. Innit? But is that low riser that you talk about? You score for a low riser Saturday. Gaz has got the low riser. Oh, he's got the low riser. He was a right, ra- Gaz was fucking, I don't know what he was doing Saturday. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that was a, that was just a load of Lenny was, 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 yeah? was brilliant. Who? Lenny. In training? In training? Aye. Was he? No. <laughs> <laughs> Lenny never ever joined in? Never. I I wanted to see a manager. <laughs> what about uh, Mark Rowe? Who was your mother manager? Was it wasn't Matt McGee, was it? Matt McGee, Dingus was brilliant. But, but, he, but he joined in naked and... That's what he was so good at. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, do you know Dingus was fucking unreal as a player? Ah, he was ah, brilliant, Matt McGee, wasn't he? He went to who did he go to? No, who was the form team he played with? Can't remember. I but don't like know. I think it's his career, but he done well in Europe. Aye, aye, Europe. Aberdeen, aye. Aberdeen. Is it Aberdeen? It, but there's some managers that take it too far, though. And just want to join on the team. Keep taking the touches and boys like, listen, just sit out in it. Uh-huh. You never had any of them. Ian Dowie. Did he? Ian Dowie was uh, just a just a gorgeous man, just a fucking <laughs> big handsome motherfucker, and he joined in training right, and he thought he was a fitter player. <laughs> guy just wasn't a fair player. But he just wanted to bother him. Just, just, he was just like me, he just headed it as a player. He thought mm. he could fucking play a bit. Do you know what a gaffer and jig day now? Oh, well, we know what they do. No, no, but do you know when you play the small sides <laughs> and you've got the two wall players at <laughs> the each po- post? They're always them and they fucking. They can't kind of like spinning crosses. Niels has not like, got that in his locker, mate. <laughs> Ah, he what? Put, he need a chip in his hand, didn't you? And he throws it to you. Don't need that all the time. Try like spinning. Jig's Jig good that. in the box, I know. Oh, Jig's Jig touch that. is good. Oh, right. Do you know who was, was good when he joined in? Not in terms of getting a bit, but he used to hit corners in, and Paul Hartley's corners are fucking uh, rude. Uh, 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 his technique's a joke, even when he was a manager. Yeah. Who was the best on, on the corner taken? Who was the best striker or a ball that you've played with? Matt Ritchie. Uh, Matt Ritchie. Matt Ritchie. 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 Andy, you must have come across a few. Aye, good question, but... Mate, Matt Ritchie's about five foot six, mate. He can spank it. Click, click, Hagen. Can you class at the in swinger? <laughs> <laughs> what the, the out swinger with the Aye. the in swinger that went out swinger? Out swinger is brilliant at that. Who is that? What about you, big man? Nicky Summerby. Is he? Premier League, is that? Right winger, I remember him. Mate, he he, he actually was in the Guinness World Book of Records for the hardest shot at one point. Was he? He could actually zing the ball from one touch line, like sideline to the other one, and it would only maybe go like a foot half the ground. He Love was that. incredible. The only one that's sticking up my mind is Grant Ledbetter. Grant Ledbetter uh, was decent. He was good off two feet as well, Grant Ledbetter, Grant wasn't he? Grant Ledbetter. He was very good technically. Yeah. Was he? Aye. Grant was good. Really good. I've never had it. I can't think of it. I can't think Answer it. Nicky Devlin. Nicky Devlin. Answer it. Put them on the podcast. No, answer it. No, answer it. By the way, we can't be like, these types that we only talk about. When we win. First team when we win. Mum, talk to us a wee bit of the game at the weekend. Started really well. Started great. Aye. And, uh, oh, you going to answer it, right? Sorry, no, you <laughs> Sorry, sorry Gaffer, on you go. Sorry, let me do something. Ah, come on. <laughs> no, come on, it'd be good to get your take on it. <laughs> no heard have you? Come on, Paul. <laughs> um, it started really well. Um, then a, an individual error, um, which which will happen. If we're going to ask him to play, we ask him to play. That happened, and then I felt the boys just sort of lost their way a wee bit. Um, and that will, listen, that is going to happen. It's a new team. Um, it's a poor pitch, that civil service pitch as well, isn't it? I, I, listen, it is poor, but and they're maybe used to it more, but it is the same for both teams. Um, but as I said, they'd be probably used to it more. But listen, it's, it's very early on. Um, we'll never, as I'm sure so I would obviously agree, with, we would say is it's a new team, right? New players. And we don't want it that it's just, we're new, so we can just go out and we can beat or whatever and just say that. We still want to put standards and demands on them. But at the same time, the boys are still learning with, with size, the way he wants to play, certain things about it. So... There is going to be mistakes, um, and it's just how we react for that. No. I'm not too worried. I watched it back, mate. We're still playing how we want them to play. Like mm. you said, that it's not going to be smooth the full way, but 
Mm. They complain. The boys have been brilliant since we've came in. It's still so. a great start. That is a good start. Is. And like, if you see if we'd lost the game and they'd not be us, then I'd be, I'd be raging. But there's still a lot of the game that I really like. So it's a tough place to go. Seven. I'm sure a lot of people three go fixtures, there. And get aye, it's not. It wasn't an easy start. He no. said he's got six points for nine. So can I my point of view, I said that there'll, there'll, there'll be a lot of teams will go to that Silver Strollers Park and struggle. Aye. Beat Rangers B. Listen, uh, obviously, you'd they're, they're a well, the well organised and disciplined yeah, yeah. team. You give them half a chance. They've got some players that can get on the end of things. The, the, the big boy up front, Fai Ali Fai. Yeah, yeah, they're all right. Tall, they? but he was decent on the ground, and they've got a couple of willing runners and that. Uh, two um, side players are good. Two aye. Yeah. So for me, they, they're they are they are an experienced, organised side. I mean, slight sign saying he said new team. See what happens when the company broad with maybe a few months down the line and user a bit more experience. I know it's obviously very early, but have you been impressed with the standard of players and different teams in the loan so uh-huh. far? I think it's been good. Um, like I say, several Saturday there was five or six players. Who was number eight for them, Simon? Matt Laird again. Matt, Matt Laird has played Millwall, good player. Man City as a kid, played down south against good me. Player. Good player, mate. Very you're good gonna player. get the good, yeah. you're gonna get good players at this level. And the coaches, mate, it's, teams are organised, eh? Right. Henke Moore, oh, sorry, we won three 0 but they had like a tiger to press. It's not like you're turning up, mate, and you're playing against guys at the pub that are just yeah. running about anywhere. Teams are well organised. Gary Jardin, I know him, he was coach at Hibs. His team, they played like that. If we played against them last year, they played the exact same way. Again, see, the first 30 minutes, mate, we controlled the game, which, is, which delights me, because I don't think a lot of teams will go there and do that. No. Um, but then we kind of played it at their hands, I thought, after they, they equalised. But again, it's going to be, we'll go to East Kilbride, Kevin Rukovic, you've got guys like Bob McHugh, Gary Miller, who've played at level. So, ah, they're going to be it's tough tests one, in this big league. Big one tomorrow, aren't it? <coughs> Broadwood uh, tomorrow, get yourselves yeah. up. Coming down. Support the boys. I'm actually aye. I will. Good to see you then, mate. Yeah, I'll see you there. Right, what well, we want to Alec Aberdeen. Went to the game yesterday. I sat in the normal seats. Somebody else on the panel wanted to sit in the... Comfy seat. Fancy seat, that's up to them. That's the, that's the type of person that they want to be. I want that's to sit next to you on Gaffer, no? Well, how was the view for the director's box? It was box? unbelievable. Was it good, mate? I've like, been with all that. Couldn't that. see a fucking thing. The woman in front of me would not stop standing up. It's her first game. No free advertising. Oh, I was like, listen, I know it's your first game, but first sit, sit down. down. It was a great view I had. Especially <laughs> that atmosphere in Oran, yeah, do you know what I mean? No people just screaming all the time. Respectful people, do you know what I mean? So, nah, nah, listen. I was there, I was up and see where the... The Green Brigade is. I was just up above them. My mate Jack, two hours of his season tickets, so it was brilliant. Right. I'll be with them. Thought Celtic started exactly how they finished last season. Thought they were outstanding, relentless to score after three minutes. That being said, Aberdeen, Jim Goodwin will be checking. Jim Goodwin, you must be furious. You must be, you must you work see through the whole pre season. That's the first game we Celtic, and you can see the set piece. It must be so frustrating. But listen, it happened. Celtic, um, probably the only thing you would probably say in the first half was they didn't score more goals. Maybe a bit more. I thought the two centre backs that Aberdeen defended the box really well, though, eh? I know they did. Um, I just based it on Andrew saying after that after the game. That's exactly what he said. So I thought you were going to let <laughs> that me. That wasn't Andrew. That was Tommy Sheridan. He's tapper. Well, right. Was it him and Dundee? That was Tommy Sheridan getting interviewed. So that no, I thought they were great. Um, I thought O'Reilly looks well, he brilliant. brilliant um, Atati, I think you, I think you called it spot on last week. I don't think you get enough credit for it at the time about how Atati made a. Um, they had a season full mm-hmm. and then came straight and said yeah, maybe that. Has been said quite a lot. I've been said lots of times. I. But I, I can make credit, but thanks. No. <laughs> but I think Celtic started great. Um, to be fair to Aberdeen, I think at the start they maybe did go a bit more direct, but then they started getting the boy in the middle. Um, done a lovely few passes at the end yeah, of the first half. He was good, 22 left back. He yeah, was great. He was good, cool. Very good. He was he great. Was great. Um, Many times he was under pressure, he just beat the press and drove yeah, forward yeah. with the ball. He loved really that good. old flat flat feet run. And I think he done really well. Playing, playing that way, try, unless it's hard because of how well Celtic press, but when you can sort of play through them mm-hmm. that's where they can be hurt and they've done it and near the end of the, the first half well Hayes who has to score I don't know how the fuck man? he missed that I kept asking last night I was a sitter sitter should he I, you kept asking last night but you had someone in his mouth so you couldn't I, answer he's just mumbling so he's going to get it out he's got actually, to score 20 I was actually score. Thinking, like, hit it first time but then it takes a touch you're like oh my god he's set so brilliant and then just pass it by mm-hmm. he's he 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 that he made 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 that He's took his touch and should have had space in the box, you know, shouldn't he? Oh, Riley, the way he takes the ball in the half Man. turn, he's way to pass. See, oh, Angie's signings, right? He could end up being the best pound for pound. Be because he only paid, like, Angie, he's obviously spent a lot of money in certain players, but he was, what, 1.5 million or nah. something? He has a good he's season very, this year. He was very good. He'll be away. Mm. Leicester, go supposedly, we Brendan's interested in him, isn't he? Telling you, he's a is tracking he? player. So, he's, uh, Matt O'Reilly's been getting James McCarthy today. He's Voice, like, <laughs> to get used to Leicester. Translator. <laughs> it was really good. Yeah, I had a couple of training sessions. <laughs> Played a couple of games. 
Can we get him on here, aren't we? Do you know what, right, you know what Riley and Hattati are really good at? The play in behind Aberdeen's midfield. Why He's in a run towards the body time. Oh, so oh. Very, Why does very the ball? patient, mate. Why does McCarthy sit with a clipboard <laughs> in the bench? <laughs> Well, no, I don't know. He's always got a clip. Go to get him on here. Sits with his nose like that, don't you? So he looks like Ben. <laughs> <laughs> we need to be more patient in the builder. Imagine he just keeps saying, What is it, Ben? And he says, He's a lovely, a tremendous human being or something. <laughs> oh, imagine that. <laughs> tremendous young talent. Oh, brilliant. No, but our excellent talent. A great character. I actually think that both games were, well, uh, both teams, sorry, would have came out uh, looking decent. Dutch Celtic were obviously the better team deserve to win but I thought Aberdeen, Aberdeen will be good spells. Aberdeen will be all right. I, like the captain, I think he's a good defender playing at certain times uh, for me actually though no, I, I agree with Will Riley but I thought Aberdeen then had a wee spell and then I thought when Turnbull came on for Celtic changed the mm. game again I'm surprised they didn't so start so positive in possession you're mate isn't it, to be fair right, he's, I'm surprised they didn't start did you speak to him after him? no he was out how do you know? boys Kagan. <laughs> I didn't for a one to one didn't he again <laughs> <laughs> so he's shooting with anyone. So no, but he was a uh, Tumble's great. I would have Tumble win for the start instead of who? A tie. Probably I Don't know actually. <laughs> but Celtic are really strong in midfield, aren't they? But I think mean, looking at the bench yesterday, the bench was so strong. You think of this a year old, year before mm -hmm. the squad they had ten ten out. Fucking brilliant to see. Mm -hmm. It really is. Um, and I was really really impressed. But listen, with both teams to be fair, Aberdeen you easily. I mean, get, going down a goal after three minutes against Celtic. Could have crumbled. Could the only, crumbled, the only yeah. downside was it was only two. I think Celtic deserve C four. Jack and Mac just shot what man. It was all the time to turn down shots. But it's like you say, it's it's the positions that they pick up. The likes of Jota of his goal in behind the two. Some goal that. And he's got mm. turned great feet. Gets a shot a few times in the first half in behind the, the like why are they there mm -hmm. they're there because they see an, an open an opportunity and getting turned and ah, it was, it, it was really good what about Carter Nicky Carter, Carter what about the try to tackle oh, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's sometimes he gets himself out of position or for yeah. example good passing but he, the, the distance he covers up to get I always back think in. it's somebody else that's out of position Kev that he's covering for well, that, see when you watch that, it it's always the left I don't know where the left hand side is but he's across or maybe the gaps back, are too big, too big uh -huh. um, but no for me big cut of Vickers is brilliant but that right Bezzy is right. rapid as well who? the boy Bezzy oh, ran through for Aberdeen, Aberdeen. rapid the fact that cut of Vickers has kept up with him is where would you if you're playing against Celtic I don't know how you'd how do you stop who, no, who picks up though you, I mean your, as your two centimetres going very high I don't know who meant to pick them up do you centim, do you, the other centimetres fuck me so Aberdeen certainly is they meant to go, and t go back with them or would you pass them on to the centre back? Say that again. So really O'Reilly and Atati go and play behind Aberdeen's midfield too. Aye. But would you want the midfield to drop onto them? But then you're pinned in there, aren't you? I think that's the idea, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Aye, but well, and also I think it does depend how you're approaching the game. Are you Are approaching sitting it to sitting a wee bit I'm more like after them? Fucking <laughs> shock of the day, by the way. <laughs> Fair enough, listen. <laughs> I will get one of that. Maybe think I know. Go on, Stevie Cooper. But Aberdeen, <laughs> nah, Aberdeen, Aberdeen, they'll be great. Already look like that. They'll be far, far better. They'll than finish they top three. Huh? Yeah, Stephen Welsh has been linked to a move away. Uh, would you sell him or would you keep Stephen Welsh? I would keep I would him. Sell him. I keep four. I like four cent half in my squad. Yeah, well, like, how, so how are you keeping another two happy? How much is the bid? I think it's, I think it's a few quid. Isn't it? I'm sure I seen. Was it four million? I seen somewhere. I'm keeping him the now until that money may be then. Starfield's always injured for a right few weeks. He's got a, a sore one, and then <coughs> the new boy that came in the signed. Obviously, he didn't Jenny. start yesterday. So um, as he rated, it's Welsh starts ahead of him. So Welsh is starting ahead of him. I'd keep Welsh. I think. I'd keep Welsh. Get rid of Julian, wouldn't you? I'd get rid of Big Julia because he's Big Julia. Big Julia's uh, Big Julia's time's up. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Big Julia was making some bad noises at the end of last season. Squealing. No, just in I forgot he was still there. Come, things he was coming I know, I thought they got rid of him. He probably used to go away from himself, his own, get his own career back going again, but... Nah, Celtic looks strong. Celtic looks very, very strong. Just, it's like you say, Paul, how do you stop it? How wh how do you set up to try and make it a bit easier for you? And I don't know if there is an actual answer. Team, teams outside Rangers and Celtic, well, obviously, except for Rangers, you would say... Teams aren't going to get judged if it results like getting no. a back head. It's no, maybe it's going to be a hard 90 minutes. That first anyway. 20 minutes, how quickly they won it back as well. Mm -hmm. I agree. Aye, that was very much like and that. And there's first. another centre back, Boyd, as well. What's Aye. he saying about no pun? He's fuming. I do like He absolutely fuming. He chapped Andrew's door. Aye. <laughs> Tommy Boyd, I know. Um, well. Right, St Johnson v Hibbs. Huge goal for Hibbs. That was the last minute winner. Huge. Needed that, didn't I? Because it's not been a great feeling about the place. That'll give him a wee lift. I want you to start Kevin. I fancied up. I fancied obviously St Johnson because I think What's Murray Davidson then? It's not a red though, is it? Is it a red? Don't give the ref that option. Ah, it's not, not a red, it's not a red, shout. but I do agree, it's a mad tackle, aye. The Hibs needed that. 
Mm. They just needed to win ugly, and obviously ninety ninety minutes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you look at him? You said win ugly. Maybe I've been a yeah, fucking. Yeah, I don't know why you've been so paranoid. Yeah, I've been yeah. a fucking white boy at the back. <laughs> Lee Johnson, new manager. Dodgy results during pre-season, especially getting popped at the the League Cup. Moaning about the fucking admin at the SFA, and then they start the league with three points, and then they've got the derby next week, Andy. Mm. But it's going to be amazing. I, it's actually going. Go? To go about the derby Sunday. Oh, definitely. Is it Sunday? Sunday. Half yeah, twelve. Where's it? Tiny. 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 Easter Road. Ah, I can only get two tickets. So. Oh, anybody? One is. He'll get. He'll get. One is. 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 Brilliant. Imagine the camera panned him, you had the tap off in the No, I had a pie on. Pie out, tits out. What would you thing. wear at a football game? Heart's have you run amongst it? Heart's best. Oh, I'm back with scoot and jump on my tight jeans, pair of gazelles. Would you sweat. fight with the casuals, eh? Huh? Nah, what the fuck? Should be a good game, but I think always the first the first derbies are always probably the best because I'm both from both of his off to a winning start, but I have? agree. It was just important that Hibs won the game. Aye. It didn't matter what happened, what type of performance it was. But What was that set piece again? Set piece side. And boys got across, Campbell and Hedder. And I think that's what the foot is. It, was it St. Johnson player that deflected uh-huh. off her? But aye, the most important thing was always going to be the result, especially after having a cut of poor so results in the cup. On that, right, we talked about uh, Alexander at the beginning. His record's not great. Yeah, Calum Davison. Calum Davison. Mm. Let's, like, I'm not asking anybody to be sat here, but if we're going to start looking at things, <laughs> get him out. Like, how, how long can you ride on the wave of Callum Davis has actually phoned us and said the same Callum way. Callum Davis is, listen, <laughs> listen, <laughs> it's not a problem. <laughs> it's not a problem. But my point is, is that their results seem to have been great. No, you're right. The finished season, I, 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 like the, the two cup wins. Mm. How, how, uh, I know, but again, like, he I, bet his budget, I bet his budget compared oh, to everyone else's budget, is... I know, I know, it's probably... St. It's, so John's been one of those teams over the years that they set their, their levels in terms of budget and they don't tend to normally go above it. Mm. So a lot of the players are on much of the same kind of wages, yeah. which, is, 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 which is fair. So you can only attract a certain level of... But to have a team that... I know, I know you'll say they lost... Three, I think three players. Yeah. Three of the better players, but and then Wotherspoon, who is that one guy? He's that injured today. He's done his cruciate. So tough, it? it is tough, but part of being a manager. Part of being a manager. I tell you what, no, I think he's recruited very well in the summer. Considine, Jamie Murphy will be a big signing for. Oh, Murphy's there, isn't it? Graham Carey was doing really well down south. Good Graham Carey came back up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He went over to Fulham. No, he went to Plymouth. Huddersfield, he went to. You think Thomas Kearney? I'm not thinking Thomas. Plymouth, who was at Huddersfield. Uh, Considine's going to be a good signing for them. I actually think the the boy Montgomery left wing back Colin. for Faisal, like, yeah. Celtic. Mm-hmm. I think Colin, uh, Colin Montgomery, was, great signing. <laughs> I think he'll do. Where is he going to play Colin Montgomery up front? <laughs> yeah, I know. Like target man. <laughs> <laughs> in the whole very good. Uh, <laughs> that right, no bad by the way. Not right, bad at all. But I'd love to be in um, Cal Davis and Struthers. I am. <laughs> no, I'd love to be in Robin Wilson's seat. Because how does he go about this game on Sunday? We're talking about St Johnston and Hibs. I know. Oh, you're talking about Hibs and Sorry, I'm a bit early. What do you mean, how does he go about? Because he doesn't know anything about the Hibs manager. So what do you do there? Probably watches his footage for the games. The cups and that and the like. You should know you're a coach now. Oh, fuck. Have you watched our game for the weekend? Your game? I thought you said this was getting six versions. So it's cut into six different parts. I asked you to say, mate, you said no. It's in the group? I've got to watch it. I was at camp, I'll watch it like a game. I'm going to watch it and I'll send me it, I'll watch it. I'll send you um, uh, so you, Robin, you are being Robin Nielsen's head. It's gonna be hard, that, isn't it? Hibs aren't as bad as what people are saying. No, not. No, it will be. It will be a good game. Obviously, our, our intentions to go and, and win. But I think that attacking I think it will wise, be a good game. attacking wise, we what Hearts they recruited with me, Alan Forrest, and then obviously got Barry McKay on the other side. He'll be saying this. Obviously, Barry McKay's got what a touch. Aye, Forrest will be saying this. Yeah, aye. Well, he'll be good. Very and then the two, the two boys, Boyce and Thing, will be shanking up front. I think the Hearts might have just too much up going forward. Are we on the Hearts game? No, can I just ask you something? Obviously it was a, a last minute. Can you ever remember a game in your career when you scored the last minute? Loads, aye. Is there any special ones that stood out? Uh, oh. I think it's a question. That's a great question, aye. Did you ever, did, did you know score for uh, Hibs? I scored a... What was it? What was it? 86. It was the last minute, but 86. Close enough, close enough. New Year's Day, winner. He'd have done. That was some Bobby the boy. Novakovas. What a boy that was. I tell you what, it was a fucking great day. 
See, when that ball's coming in, Gib, do you know I'm scoring here? I, I had a funny feeling that during the game, you know when, you, you know when you're playing well and you think something's, go, something's going to happen, but it wasn't quite happening, and yeah. I just thought if I could get one chance here, and then when it came over, because of the angle, it was more like trying to stay onside, and as it came over, I just thought, if I hit this on target, it'll go in, and then obviously, it, I didn't even mean to put it where I really put it, I just tried to hit the target, and then it creeped in, and... Brilliant. Amazing feeling. When he put that video up with that goal, it's fucking uh, so inspirational. It's brilliant, mate. I thought what it was your celebration. Oh, I just fucking ran. I was going to run at the head fans and give them a bit, but I was fucked. <laughs> so I stopped halfway. Did you start that game? He had bits of his teeth in that, I noticed. I had a tooth. No, I had a tooth missing that day, actually. Did you? Did what, big man? I used to. Did I used you put to, your tooth in? No, I had a fake one. Did you? I used to have a plate. I used to take it in. what? I I used to hear a plate on a, a tooth on a plate and I didn't used to, uh, yeah. I didn't you used, take it, used to take it out before games. So is it fake now? It's a, uh, what do you call it, a conveyor. Now. Is it right? Um, but I got it done after I finished it. What about Sunderland, any last minute goals? Uh, hey, we think anybody else? Anybody else? Last minute goals. Team one, I would say. What about say, you yourself? Uh, myself, probably, it would be gone way back, but when I was at Livy, we played Montrose at home, and uh, there was a scout for Newcastle there to watch me, and Gary Bowen dropped me, didn't start me. Wow. No way. Uh, it was no no. Was the scout was there? I don't know. No, no, I don't think so. I, I, I think we did play a game, uh, I think it was Berwick Rangers before, and I was shite, and I was, only, I was only like 16 at the time, maybe 17, and he proper hammered me after the game, and I was like, fucking hell, I'm 17 year old, mate, calm down. And they dropped me the next game, but there was a Newcastle. I, I used to hate it when they told me, because they used to get a list of like ticket requests, so they'd tell you scouts for the game. I used to hate when they told oh, me. Oh, yeah, that's the worst that scouts were watching you. Watch you. And they told me this Newcastle scout was coming to the game to watch me that day. And then I went to the meeting and I wasn't playing, so I was like, for fuck's sake. And then I came on, 0 no, 0, no, and scored a diving header. What last minute. Right. Oh, is I'm that the one you done that? No, I, I did do something stupid though, because I was, I was an idiot when I was younger, and mm -hmm. I'd done stupid. I think I done that to Gary Ball or something. <laughs> I got, uh, I got on Newcastle. Mental, man. I think somebody put a video up last night of Shearer's last of our goal for Newcastle. Penalty against someone. And I played that day, right? And then, wow. So on Newcastle, I played the derby. We were 1-0 down at Stadium of Light. 93rd minute, corner come in. I've jumped minute. up and headed it and scored to make it 1-1 one, one last minute. Side. Fucking ran away, celebrated. The whole crowd jumped the pitch. Got up in the fucking line. Was Why is that outside? No, it wasn't the outside. Tory and the flow. Tory and the flow. Was it outside? No, it wasn't outside. Oh, no, Tory and the flow. She given come out to catch it. Tory and the flow pulled. She given gave a free kick. We should recreate that goal. Mm. I fucking do. Oh. But uh, nah, that was class. Uh, what about you? That cut that goal. Any team? Good. I only scored about twenty goals. team goals, Matt. You must have scored goals. Paul. Own goal somewhere. I, 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 I scored a last, last minute one somewhere. Under four teams against Hamilton. Did you, mate? In the Derby. Right, right talk us through it. Where, where'd you it pick it up? It doesn't matter what. 18 what, yards out. Ball came in for the edge of the corner. I volleyed it. Hit, tap him a fit. Hit somebody back and fucked him. <laughs> 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 what was Susan there? What was Susan there? Last minute goal at any level, eh? It's the best goal. It's the best one, even when you're watching a game and it happens like you. Aye. Last season, first game of the season at Celtic, Tidecast obviously, so, like Sophie scored in the last minute. That was massive because it was the first game nah, back. Right. You get Celtic, first game. What a uh, turn that around. What's the what best you've ever been? <laughs> That's a great <laughs> one. What, what, uh, so, what about the best up? last minute goal you've watched? It's got oh, to be Sheringham. It's all shy. It's all shy. It's no, got to be Aguero. Aguero. Oh, nah. day. Aguero. Champions League final. Champions League final, mate. That was unreal. And there's two last minute goals. Aguero at QPR. Mm. I couldn't believe it. You two were dog shaking off, so shy and Sheringham, weren't they? Ah, you what players? Ah, you call what, Teddy there. Sherry, I'm shite. No, he was alright, so shite, dog shite. I noticed that we cut a certain segment out of the podcast last week. No, what, what part was it? <laughs> well, related to so shite and sherry, I'm sure we say. What did you ask him to do? Was that scratch 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 did you ask him to do it? You're a shite bag, man. You are a shite bag. I was watching that, man. But on the hearts and hibs, this man was the hero last time, wasn't he? He scored two. That's two fucking belters, is it? How many of you scored against hibs? Is it three? Four or five. Four, well, do you remember the last game Easter Road? You get pelters. Remember the night game? Last what? season, remember? It was on Sky, it was a I night mean, game. I mean, I always get pelters. At oh, you don't mind it, do you? know you deal with it. Bring it on. That's what it is, isn't it? Aye, so. Are you buzzing for it? Aye. You don't know I'm getting money you know looking at it because I know who it is. Aye. Actually, oh. I, just, I genuinely had somebody right, I'm not going to mention him, Cart, who went, You're the only guy I've seen that I would shag his arm. <laughs> That's what he said, because. That's a bad shout, isn't it? 
I saw a couple of his uh, pictures on holiday where he shut off and he's basically copied your tattoos on his chest. Nah, he'll not like that. got heroes, isn't he? He'll like that. He's mine. He'll like that. Yeah, I, I, I like yours. You any tattoos, Paul? Me one down there. Covers it. Got a wee dot tattooed down there. Covers it. Are you playing? Do you think you'll play this, this one? This is your game, aren't it? I don't know. Do you play at the weekend? No, well, the I came on last, last oh, you come 15 on? for an absolute dogging session. Just what, because they were, were they coming they, at the They were obviously going for the... For the that's the worst thing I've ever seen. It's hard. Eh? Catch you win, but then you catch your win when you're fucking When you're only winning by a goal, but you've got to come on to a job. People would say, though, if you... If a player said no, I don't want to go in, they would get, play, get Kane. But, but obviously you're not going to say no, I don't want to come on. You still do. Did the GMS get on? No. Not sitting with a sore arse all year. <laughs> <laughs> not doing it. He just he, GMS is just hoping there's no violence at this game Saturday. Ah, that's that's his main concern. That's his thing. Is that, what's the stewarding like? Have we got enough? <laughs> Have we definitely got enough? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's got to be done, Kerry. No drink at a game. He's wanting the game at nine o'clock in the morning so nobody can drink. <laughs> <laughs> How did the game go on to feed Ross County? They look on. good, Ross County. Do, do, do you want me to tell you the truth, right? Because I'm always honest. Good man. They battered us in the first half. What wow. was that, didn't they? They never battered us in terms of control of the game. We still had a level of control, but. Chances wise. We never really had many chances, and then they could have scored two or three. They had two or three big chances, hit the post, and the boy miss a, misses the rebound where he obviously should score. The uh, boy Edwards in the left wing cut outside, hit the bar. Cut inside, hit the bar, sorry. They had a few very good chances, uh, but I, I, I think Malcolm McKay is a good manager, mate. I think he, he's recruited well again because you look, Hungbo yeah, and was good. Charles Humble. Cook were obviously their two main men last year. Lost the two of them. The two wingers that played at the weekend were very good. The big striker they brought in, Howella, was very good. But I had the left winger, Edwards. You watch highlights? No, I had not watched highlights. Uh, yeah. Love the winger. That's uh, good, mate. Was well, good to be fair. Yeah. Uh, but then second half, we were we were a lot better, a lot better, and scored. Two great goals. Yeah, the goals were good. Goals. Good yeah. player, huh? Two very good goals. Uh, great move um, for the we'll first time. We'll change at half time, Andy. Robbie played the sacks. Robbie. Did he have real big ones on? Just blast. more. Right in your, he went right in their faces and played the sack. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the bench, so I never... Oh, you were on the bench. We also warmed up at half time, so I don't know what we're saying. That's the worst. That's the worst. Warmed up at half time. Ah, I know. What do you do? Warming up in general is shite, isn't it? Shite. What did you do at half time? Kick the ball about or did you, did you actually get a busy fitness No, just do like a wee five minute warm up uh-huh. and then just do boxes really. Um, but second half we did play a lot better. I think first half we, they, they pressed us high to be fair. And we were trying to play out but they were sort of man for man in midfield and I don't know, we just sort of struggled to get up the pitch. Yeah, but then second half we, we, we were a lot better and then you could see, you always sensed a goal for us was going to come. Uh, but it was obviously good that we ended up getting that second and what a goal it was, man. Be bad. Oh, good touch yeah, for the gods, mate. That touch is brilliant, man. He's a good so is that we Alan on the brilliant. top bunk again? Oh, he James on the bottom bunk. I think, I'll tell you right now who it is. I think they'll be. I think he'll be saying the season. Alan Forrest. I think he's getting arm moving him. There you go. Mate, you know what? He's well, that's not against. He's, he's a type of player that every squad needs because he's so direct. So every time he gets it, he's always trying to make something happen. He's yeah. getting after people and see even when it's no coming off. Because I said that the first half, I don't think individually like we were great as a team, but. Every time he got it, you know, as if something was going to happen, even mm. if it didn't come off, he was driving at players and he was sort of getting us up the pitch, chance, half chances created and stuff, because he was probably, for me, our, our best player. See, the Forest could. players, they've got the best mentality in football. Why do you think it is? I don't know. That must come from the players, eh? I know, but it's, the mentality is unbelievable. Is he 24, 25? Oh, 26. No, no, younger than that, I think. Is he? I was going to say older than no, that. a bit older, I think. Was James E. 30? <laughs> 31. 31. Aye, so I want to be what? 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, um, but the, I, I definitely think they will do well. Charlie said Kelly were decent at the weekend. We're on to that. Uh, draw fair result. No. What is uh, what's <laughs> what's what's he in Harks? What's he in Harks doing? Probably. Imagine you're a manager, right? You're one up first game at the club. No cruising, but comfortable in the game. He gets a yellow card for trying to stop the goalie kicking the ball, and then he makes a tackle when he's on a yellow. I hate players that do that. I honestly do. What goes through their head? It's a it's a, it's a silly tackle. They, they, they genuinely think that. They're not doing anything wrong. We talk about experience and all that. Mm. That's when experience becomes a lot of shite. It's costing Because these players can do it. Older points. players have played a lot of football, so and that's frustrating. But all we all, all said at the what stats. finish for Taylor? Ash Taylor. Brilliant. Never seen it. Wait, no, no, no. Wait, talk us through the finish. 
the way he's just struck me, I don't think. And it's what happened. Bobo and the cross came in, Bobo, and he's fucking half volleyed in. By the way, he's yeah, guessed and got close. close to it. What type of cross was it? Whippage. No, it was no, a high. No. What is it? Your thing is, is it was a what? A low to high? Low riser. <laughs> <laughs> we low riser. Was it a right winger that crossed it left winger? Was it? Did you say low riser or kick? slow riser? Slow high. riser, that is. It was a corner. <laughs> it was a corner. No, get a corner it out, Sonny, get it out. What? <laughs> did, you any, did any of you watch the Coopman show? Derek Ferguson talking about in the yeah, hang- yeah. hangover horn. That was the uh, best man, comment man, ever. Misses. He's brilliant, isn't it's it? It's true, though. He's gone, mate. Because I, I, I know when I'm hungover. You just falling a bit? I'm fucking falling in a bit like a mad rash, honestly. Yeah. Uh, well, how she take that? She, she knows. I'm the opposite. I try and say it. She knows. Fall <laughs> somebody else's a bit. She knows in the morning. When, uh, when I've been under drink, she knows, she's like, ah, get away from me. She waiting on you? One of the kids sussed out this, what was what was going on in Holiday. That's shocking, by the way. What, were you doing it when they were in the same room? No, we had a three bed apartment. Oh, so you didn't Just passing half of the water. But Harry, I went up, we up to the toilet and Harry shouts in. Dad, what's she and Mum doing in there? What are you playing? <laughs> Beat the goalie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, you seem like a dad, don't you? Better be a pair of pants and a t-shirt. Do you see a t-shirt? Uh-huh. I just saw a t-shirt. A t-shirt? I, I, I hate, I don't, I'll wake up with a bottle nose if I don't know where a t-shirt is. It's fucking tough enough. Well, you eight year old? Uh, sure. How the fuck is that nose be yeah, That's what I'm saying, it's a fucking size. That. <laughs> I, that's the last thing I need, mate. I had a t-shirt <laughs> up, up, up his nose, didn't I? So do you something like that? Did you know you used to play with his kids? Did you know you used to play with his kids? Did you know you used to play with his kids? Lend him some for his sleep. Did you try that? No, does it work? My nose is always born, mate. But mine's just because I've got a... I've got a you used to open my nose. I don't have like a sinus. <laughs> Steph, Steph... No, sniffing ass would clean it. Steph stays at the side. Depends on his ass. Two fingers on his ass. Depends on his ass it is, isn't it? I can't believe you've got a t-shirt on. I have a t-shirt. Yeah, <laughs> always. Was it a wee, wee white nighty or something? No, it's just like a MKI t shirt. What do you sleep, Paul? Bollock. I am bollock too. Are you? Just boxers. Just on the off chance, you never know. You sleep bollock? So when you wake up in the morning, you put clothes on and go down to the dance? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, no, really. So just go down to the dance. Just go down the night. I'm just go bollock naked. <laughs> do, wait, what does Lynn sleep in there? Naked as well? No, I'm just jeans. <laughs> jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like, does she wear pyjamas? <laughs> she wears pyjamas. Does she wear a nightie? Uh, nightie, something oh, depends. Fun, she it. comes with a nightie on, you, you, you know, know what's happening. Right? Happen. She comes with <laughs> no, the jammies on. Right. She comes with the jammies on, it's a bit of a... It's a struggle. struggle. Ah, it's a struggle. <laughs> what about your... What is uh, your uh, uncle sleep on? What is your house? He's what, his uncle? Aye. What is your uncle sleep? He's seen a Transformer onesie, aye. Does your uncle sleep with the apple on it in his hand? The onesie. Does your dad sleep with his rucksack on? Aye, <laughs> <laughs> nothing else. No, but you're not, it's always a scene, naked or nothing else. Yeah, yeah Premier League. Premier League. What about Susan? Oh, what about Susan? Yeah. What does she sleep with? Full jammies she is. I should stop watching her, I saw that. What kind of jammies? What's the stop watching her? Still can't. Nah, pre-mat ones. What, like? Cotton. Cotton, I uh, have. Pre-mat. Oh, like, see the like, massive sweaty. ones. <laughs> see, the, see when you wake up in the morning, do you turn to the bedside table and press the stop watch draft? Just... No, I do. Oh, okay, okay, a bit. No, no, no. You've always got to be. That's nice with me, but no, I just bought. Bought naked. Always good. Yeah, always have yeah, yeah. the window on. Even when she stays. Even when she stays. No, Philly Clay. Well, you've never talked about, and it's no on there. Before you get your Premier League stuff, Bobby Madden. He oh said, he said something quite right. So the guy was a prick. Aye. It was Lee Tomlin, wasn't it? What's he doing? Good, good I, I was going to say, I think he's right. No, I, I, don't, I don't think he's right. He's but trying to get Jimmy Walker sent off, isn't he? Lee Tomlin looks massive. Didn't he? Good player as well. Oh, Tomlin. I love playing against him. I think he said a bit Bobby Madden in the engine room after that. Aye. Definitely. He's trying to get his He's trying to get his He's trying to get his Lay the law down early doors, don't he, Bobby? Overdone it. Man, City will pull for League Paul. Man, City will be him. He'll be doing Dagenham next week. He'll be he'll be in the conference before he knows it, man, won't he? Boren Wood versus Forest Green next week. Aye, Man City all day for me. Premier League. We said that last year done the hangs. I think Man City run away a bit this year. Even though they got beat 3 1. I got it wrong last year. I said, I'm sure I said Liverpool. I said Man City. Do you know who's going to be the best team to watch this year? Arsenal. Burnley. I mean, I had Burnley Who's your manager? Who's your manager? Who's your manager? Hunt, the the record passes. Is it? Oh, record passes they had in their history. Very good. And he won in the league. Eight and eight. Eight six to beat it. Three and eight. Six year. <laughs> but partly, partly it, was, it was lots. It was like a, a lot, a lot. Uh, Man City won it all day long. Aye, Man City. What record, record number? Could be, aye. How long? So. Man, you not top four again. Right. Spurs, Chelsea, I man, you don't get it. Spurs, Chelsea, Liverpool, Man City. Uh, ch- just last I think bit. Arsenal could be close. I want a prediction of you two for Hearts Hibs. 
Hey, Hearts 2-0. Take, oh, take it all day. Easter Road. Take it all day. Arden Forrest scores and... Forrest 2-2? Mm-hmm. Definitely. I think that he can get that Hibs defence, definitely. Is one of your coaches not second in the Forrest? Aye, nice. Gordy Forrest, aye. Mm-hmm. So they're like, the Bruins at Peterhead. Aye. Uh, <laughs> that's <laughs> Forrest, isn't it? Hunters are Forrest. Forrest Gump. <laughs> Craig Gordon, that's his Forrest Gump, isn't he? Uh-huh. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, Forrest Whitaker. Hey, <laughs> result. Can you ask me? Nottingham Forest. The hats are trying to buy Nottingham Forest, <laughs> didn't they? <laughs> Can you ask me later on the week? No. No, I just asked it, answer it now. I uh, just answered it. I'm going to go to each. By the way, what about, what about Dylan Levitt's goal? What a signing. No, have I seen it? Missing out, mate. What a strike. What eh? a strike. His technique's a joke. Striking a ball. Brilliant. That's great goal. Fletcher's wee back heel at him as well. Told you. You've not seen it. You never, never, you've not seen, seen the goal stop coming out. McHattie's goal in the lower leagues for. Um, Breaking McHattie plays for that. What, what a finish. That that that's a, a fucking that is, zoo in here. That's mate. a low riser. <laughs> What what is is Pigeon Lies, sweet Pigeon Lies. The fucking Ed and Brazil were doing the podcasting, man. <laughs> flies are free opened his wallet earlier. Smells of shite, doesn't it? That's why flies go around. Flies are on that stain. Ah, right, flies are wrapped up. Shite. I've got a football competition. I'm feeding a rap battle. There's nothing big enough to wrap that up. <laughs>